Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and to Tram Sim Console Edition. And for today's video, we're on the streets of Vienna and I wanted to show you how to cold start the Flexity. But also, while we're cold starting the Flexity, I also want to have a look at the Vienna Depot, which is part of the Deluxe Edition. We're on the streets of Vienna, as I mentioned. Let's have a run down this corner and we'll take a look. Here's the depot. So on this side, we've got, we got quite an old depot. There's no trams in there. Quite an old building. Now, I don't know if this is in use in the game or not. I haven't started any services from here, I must admit. But this is a very old looking depot. Uh, looks, uh, looks quite neat and tidy, doesn't it? But there's not many people knocking about. But over this side, we have got, we've got Hall 1. And we've got Hall 2. So this is uh, where I've normally been starting the services. If you have a look in the depot in Hall 2, we have got a dead flexity. And what we're going to do is we're going to start it up. I'm going to show you how to get it running from cold. And then I'm also going to show you how to do the shunting operations if you're at the depot. So we'll take a look. First of all, when there's no power to the actual unit, you can use this little uh, key here. Let me put the uh, the hood back on again. You can just hold X if you're on PlayStation. We're on the PS5, of course. Uh, we'll just go in, take a seat. Okay, so you can do it with these menus using the D-pad, but let's try to do it with the actual buttons themselves in the cab. So the first thing we need to do is put in the key, so we need to hold X for that. Once that's in, just turn it once. Then what we're going to do is we're just going to wait for these screens all to boot up. So it's going through the sequence right now, and you can see over on the IBIS, that's also booting up. So what we're doing is these two red dots in the middle, we're just waiting for that one to stop flashing, and then we can perform the next thing we need to do to get it going. The depot is quite quiet today. There is another tram in with us. But everything is out and about on the streets. Okay, that has stopped flashing now. So what we'll do, we'll put the key into the second position. And you'll see that this is this is like the reverser on a train. Once the key went to the second position, you saw that this lit up, which means we're allowed to use it. So what we want to do is put it in VA mode, which is for forwards. So that's two clicks of this. One, two... And if you want to double check if you're correctly in VA, you can do it by going to the D-pad menu system and you can look down where the cogs are. You can see we're in VA, which is correct, which is our direction of travel. Once we've done that, we need to put some power into the unit uh, and we'll need to put the pantograph up for that. So if we quickly do that, if you go outside, you can see it raising there. Let's go back in. And once the pantograph is up, that is it. We're all ready to go. Uh, now, what we can do before we leave is we can set up the IBIS with a service. So what we need to do is just press any button just to stop it flashing. And then we need to specify a line number. Now, route one, which is the uh, operator to Stefan, is the route for that is uh, one... Zero, one, four, two, and then ing is enter. So we just press enter. Then it asks you for your personnel number. So this is probably, if you're a real driver, you've probably got a number that you key in so they know who's driving it. But this can be any six-digit number. So let's just go six, five, four, three, two, one, and again just press enter. So that's in there. Then we need to pick our destination. So to do that. We choose Zeal. Then if you go left and right, there are different target destinations. There's some interesting ones, actually. We've got Happy Birthday. <laughs> so I think if we... Let's have a look outside. It's not come on yet because it's not... Uh, we've not confirmed it. Let's just... Let's see if we can confirm it. Let's just press that. Come out of this. There you go. Happy birthday. 
<laughs> uh, let's go back to the screen again because what we'll do is we will change it. So we'll go to Zeal again. And uh, what we'll do, we'll set it to Stefan Fadinga Platz and just confirm that. That gets us ready to go. That's got the timetable in there. So that is cold starting. So just to uh, just to show you now, let me just close the door. That's it. So now you can see we can we can move quite freely. So that is that is ready to go. So that's good. Now, if you are at the depot and you want to perform some shunting operations, there is a, a very nice way to back up. You can't reverse from this position, but if you want to move backwards. What we'll do is, let's just take the key out. Then we need to just get out of our seat. Take the key with us. If we leave the key there, it's similar to, to trains. If the key is there, you can only have the master key in one end of the unit. Let's walk down to the back. Right at the back here, you've got these controls. And again... I think this is available if you have the deluxe because it's used a lot in the depot. If we put the key in, just hold that down, turn it once, then we press triangle on there, and then if we do this. Hang on, let me do that again. That's better. Press triangle, there next. So if you, if you hold triangle now, you can see that we're moving. See, we're shunting backwards. So I'm just holding triangle to do that. So this is how you can move about in the depot. You can adjust yourself in the depot. So, so from this end, you can actually shunt backwards, which is which is pretty neat. So just take my finger off there. Then we need to put that into B1. Take the key out. That's tricky to get. Let's just close that. All right, we need to put that in B1. Let's do that again. If I can grab this, <laughs> we'll close it. There we go. So we're armed with the key again, so let's go back up to the front. And this is a fairly big depot. There's lots and lots of space in here for numerous trams. Let's sit down. Let's put the key back in. And you have to hold it to do that. Everything's there. Up on the front, we've got Stefan. So then when it's time for your service to start, you can, uh, if we energise that, <laughs> you can be underway. And uh, that is that is how to energise the tram, the flexity. This is the flexity. And uh, also how to shunt if you're in the depot, if you've got the deluxe edition, you're in the depot and you want to move it backwards, that's how you do it. And uh, yeah, that's the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, if you've got the deluxe edition, have you been using the depot? You can start the services from here. Um, you just need to set up, as I showed you, which service you're actually taking. Also, don't forget uh, to actually pick a timetable before you leave so it gives you the timings that you need for, for how long you've got until you uh, until you leave the depot. Um, and if that was useful, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.